You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hardcovers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have another book review to share with you, you guys. I had meant to finish this book yesterday in time to do a video recording and upload it for you guys but it just didn't turn out that way I end up finishing the book very late and then I just went to bed pretty much um, so I finished it it's great um, can't wait to tell you about it um, so this is a book by an author that I hadn't heard of before but um, there are many authors out there and there are new ones being published even every year that I probably don't know about yet so nothing really new <laughs> um, this this book is called Touching the Clouds by Bonnie Leon and this particular book is the start of an Alaskan Skies series and it is quite a long book. It's 362 pages and 30 chapters. And here's what this one is about. Kate Evans is an adventurous and independent young woman with a pioneering spirit. When she leaves her home in Washington State to follow her dream of being an Alaskan bush pilot, she knows it will be an uphill battle. But she never expected it to be quite like this. As a lone woman in a man's world, she must find that contending with people's expectations is almost as treacherous as navigating the wild arctic storms. <clears throat> Excuse me. When she pass crosses paths with the mysterious man living alone in the forbidding wilderness, she faces a new challenge. Can Kate break through the walls he has put up around his heart? And will fear keep him from realizing her dreams? Book one in the Alaskan Skies series, Touching the Clouds, will draw you in with raw emotion and suspense, all against the stunning backdrop of the Alaskan wilds. So, this is a great book. Um, it especially makes sense if you have a background in flying, or if you're a pilot yourself. <clears throat> then you'll know and understand some of the more particulars that they describe in this book. Anyway, um, so this is a story about Kate Evans. She's there on the cover and that is her um, plane up there on the cover right there. And she moves from Washington to Alaska and it's pretty different from in the States because Alaska is so cold um, and they're not too far away from the United States because Alaska is a state in the United States. But um, they things are more expensive there, as I've been told. I was actually born in Alaska, so um, my mom said that, that it was kind of expensive to live there. Um, I know also, off topic, that... Hawaii is also quite expensive to has an expensive uh, cost of living there too um, probably because that anything they get there on the Hawaiian Islands um, has to be ferried or um, ferried over um, to get packages and things like that so um, so the climate change is crazy because with Alaska, there's not really a forecast or anything like that that's reliable for the Alaskan weather. And she is a pilot. She has been one all of her life. And um, she really loves it. It's part of who she is. And um, she doesn't want to stop. Um, she has a good, um, solid knowledge about how to do things when you have limited supplies and limited resources um, so she's she 
this is a great independent um, well this is an independent woman's story sort of to so to speak so um, this is a great book um, I enjoyed it I enjoyed the uh, the thoughts and the uh, and the events and stuff that that really shaped these other people that are the characters in this book um, she has been through some trials in her life um, but really who hasn't um, and that makes her a respectful woman and it actually shows that women can pretty much do anything that men can do um, there are a few exceptions but you know that uh, women can be pilots and men can be doctors and and men can sew and things like that so um, I think some things both people should learn how to do regardless if you're a man or a woman anyway it just kind of shows that even in that time period the time period is in 1935 so it is in part a historical fiction book and um, people just weren't used to having a woman pilot or having a man that or being a man that knows how to sew um, it's unconventional for sure it's not norm not not the societal normal um, but you know you kind of do what's best for you um, I like this book a lot um, it provides me with some history and and storytelling melded into one so I really liked it um, I would probably read this again but it is a three book series so I will be coming at you with more Here's of an Alaskan Um, the Alaskan Skies series. So I will see more from this author. Um, if you guys have read this book, did you like it? Did you hate it? Or does this book review make you want to uh, read it now? Um, it does have a Kindle edition, you guys. I will put a link down in the description below to where you can find it. Um, this is turning out to be a little bit of a longer of a book review that's fine um thanks for watching thanks for subscribing keep reading don't stop believing and we will see you again soon bye bye